This part of Bucharest Airport Departure Terminal was built 11 years ago in preparation for Romania's entering the Schengen Zone. It has stood empty since 2012, but Romania's long campaign to join has had some success. Airport passengers to Schengen countries will no longer require passport checks for March of next year. But being kept outside the zone for so long has real authorities. Romania, from the economic point of view, is losing 2 billion euros uh, every year uh, due to the fact that we are not members of the uh, Schengen Agreement. Some estimates put that figure as high as 11 billion dollars due to lost trade, taxes and waiting times at the border crossings. After years of campaigning, Austria, the strongest opponent of Romania's joining, proposed a gradual and conditional entry, allowing flights and maritime border crossings without checks. Austria's main criticism of Romania is that it's not doing enough to fight illegal migration, an issue authorities say they are trying to tackle. In the first 11 months, 436 migrants were discovered while attempting to cross the border illegally on foot. And over 6,400 uh, were discovered in various means of transportation. Close to the Nadlak border crossing with Hungary, we joined Denisa and Mariusz, two Romanian border police officers in their patrol as they searched for illegal migrants. Their SUV navigated over the Nadlak's muddy back roads. But sometimes they had to continue on foot despite adverse weather conditions. They hope their efforts will help Romania eventually become a full member of the exclusive Schengen Club. As long as Romania is kept out of the Schengen zone, the situation at the borders will be unchanged. People will wait, sometimes for hours, just to cross from one EU country to another. Alyosha Milenkovic, CGTN, Nadlak border crossing.